All right, in this video, I'm going to talk about graphing an equation by locating points, or sometimes we say we're graphing by plotting points. So suppose to get started, we're going to create a table of values that satisfies the equation 2x squared plus x minus 1. And just to create a table of values, um, sometimes people will call this a little, sometimes they'll call it a t-chart. Um, but the idea is I'm going to pick different values for x. I'm going to plug those in um, and do the arithmetic, and then I'll get corresponding values for y. Okay, so maybe just to plug in a couple, maybe I'll plug in negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. And hopefully by doing this, I'm going to get a basic idea as to what the graph looks like. Okay, so if we plug in x equals negative 2, we'll get simply that y equals, okay, 2 times negative 2 squared plus negative 2 minus 1. Well, negative 2 times negative 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. Negative 2 minus 1 is negative, uh, could give us a negative 3. So I'm getting the value 5 out. So it says if you plug negative 2 in, we get 5 out. Let's see, let's plug in negative 1. So again, everywhere there's an x, I'm just going to plug in negative 1. 2 times negative 1 squared plus negative 1 minus 1. Well, negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. Uh, positive 1 times 2 is 2. Uh, then we'll get a negative 1 minus 1, which is negative 2. So it looks like when we plug negative 1 in, we get 0 out. Okay, plugging 0 in will be easy. We'll get the first term will turn into 0. The second term will also turn into a 0. And we'll just be left with y equals negative 1. Maybe let's, uh, let's do these other two here real quick. So let's see, if we plug in x equals positive 1, we'll simply get that y equals, okay, so we'll plug in 1 plus 1 minus 1. 1 squared is 1, so 1 times 2 is 2 plus 1 is 3, minus 1, again, is going to give us a 2. Last but not least, if we plug in um, x equals 2, we'll get that y equals 2 times 2 squared plus 2, minus 1. Well, 2 squared is 4 times 2 is 8, 8 plus 2 is 10, and then uh, 10 minus 1 is going to leave us with a 9. So I'm getting uh, the value of 9 out. And again, you could keep doing this uh, for as many points as you wanted. So kind of the uh, good thing about it is, you know, you're just, it's usually just a matter of doing a little bit of arithmetic. One of the disadvantages, though, is kind of knowing when you've sort of, you know, how, how do you know when you've used enough points to sort of get all of the relevant information. And that's sort of a question that we'll, you know, address uh, in some other videos. Okay, so the point uh, negative 2 comma 5, so if I plot this point, again, what this says is it just means negative 2 comma 5 is a point on the graph. So that means I go over 2 units and up 5 units. So we would put a dot right there. Again, kind of sketching this here by hand here, so hopefully it won't be too bad. It says if we plug negative 1 in, we get 0 out, so that means the point negative 1, 0 is on the graph. So negative 1, 0 would be on the x-axis, one unit to the left. It says we get 0, negative 1 out, so that'll be another point on the graph. And then it says when you plug 1 in, we get 2 out. And then when it says you plug 2 in, you get positive 9 out, so we'll be a bit further up. Okay, so again, we've got these points. Now the problem is, okay, so to me it looks like the graph's going down and it's coming back up. You know, what exactly does 2x squared plus x minus 1 look like? I mean, does it, does it go down and is that the lowest point and then does it go back up? Um, so the exact graph we're still not quite positive about, but this is the idea. We can always just find values by simply plotting points. So it actually turns out that 2x squared plus x minus 1 looks like what's called a parabola. It will have a, uh, uh, you know, it kind of dips down and goes back up. But 
I think, I'm all, well, I know for sure, um, it actually turns out that this point um, down here at, at, at 0, negative 1, that's actually not going to be the smallest value it hits. But when you start talking about graphing quadratic equations or graphing parabolas, you'll see how to do that. But for now, again, just the basic idea, you can plot points to get the shapes of graphs.